I greet you viewers all over the world. I sincerely appreciate you for following the series of prophecy towards the new Nigeria. Like I used to tell you, we are at the darkest part of the night. The darkest part of the night is closer to the dawn. The new dawn is coming. The new dawn is the new Nigeria, a change of mindset. When we say new Nigeria, I'm referring to a change of mindset. And God will surely do it for us, but we have a part to play. And that is my own part that I'm displaying on this platform. I pray as I speak, it will surely manifest in Jesus' name. The new Nigeria will come. In part of the collaboration to ensure the new Nigeria, I gave a prophecy on September 15 and also September 18, 2024, about the Edo State Governorship election. And today, we are going to see the confirmation. I'm going to speak on the confirmation of the Edo State Governorship election. We are going to, I'm going to also speak on what is coming in the future. Protest is coming. Court proceedings are coming in the future. These are the two key things that are coming. I told you in that September 15 that what you will see in the Edo State Governorship election will look like the presidential election. That's what I told you. And if you remember vividly, I told you on September 15 that there will be a tussle between two Godfather. And I told you I'm an advocate that is opposing to Godfatherism. I oppose Godfatherism. It's not by glicker. God doesn't like it. God doesn't like Godfatherism. Because it takes the place of God, that name God, in front of the Father, is not good. It's not of God. Anybody that takes the place of God is idolatry, and God doesn't like it. And I gave a Bible verse, if you remember vividly. I gave a Bible verse, I gave Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. I said, Woe unto him that rely on the arm of flesh, that make flesh his strength. Woe means cause. I told you that there will be a political tussle, a serious tussle for power. A serious tussle for power, fierce battle between Adams Oshomole and Obaseki. I told you there is going to be tussle for power. It's going to be fierce. And I remember telling you that there will be protest. There will be protest. I saw Oshomole in a vision and I told you about it. I pray that God will help us to come back to what Nigeria used to be and help us to navigate our future, to go in line with progress. Because it just appears as if we are going backward. But by the grace of God, Nigeria will move forward in Jesus' name. This is 21st century, and we are behaving as if we are in the, we are in the old age, the stone age. This should not be a, a generation where we begin to fight each other, where there is tussle for power. No. I said it that Godfatherism is not of God and it's not good in politics. It destroy, it destroy our political structure. It is high time we forget about Godfatherism. I spoke extensively. We have seen it. It has happened. It has come to pass. And in September, 18. I told you, I said that Egodalo, I swear Egodalo, is the chosen vessel, is the chosen one. I saw him win. I saw him win. But, but, I mentioned but, and I was telling you that I see something like rigging. I saw something like rigging, and there was a change. I told you that Monday will overtake him if this and this and this and this and this and this and, this and that. 
happen. I told you that Okpebolo Monday will overtake him. I told you in a vision that I saw, I saw Aswe Igodalo in a place like a stadium. And, it, and people were praising him and hailing him. And they were happy that jubilating that he won. And when Monday, Okpe Bolo came into that same stadium, everywhere was silence. That means there was an overtaking that has taken place. An overtaking event took place in the spiritual realm, unknown to, unknown to Aswe Godalo. There has been a change in the spirit realm, a change of destiny, an hijack of destiny, a change of event. So that's why it's good to pray. I said it that I swear Igodalo should pray very well. Go and listen to that, my broadcast of September 18. I said I swear Igodalo should pray very well because I see a situation where the Godfatherism will have hand in this election. And I see a situation where Monday Okpobolo will overtake. And that's why I put there, overtake. Overtake. I said Monday, overtake. Go and check it. As I put it, I don't use to change my topic. If I change, it must be something that is not going to change the structure of what I've said. I stand by what I said. Because what I see, I tell you. What I see, I tell you. What I hear, I tell you. I believe in myself. I believe in what I am saying. Ah, I swear, Godalo, I told him that he have to be proactive because I see something like rigging. I said it. I said, you must counter that rigging. And that's why you see what happened. At the end of the day, you see how the INEC office was fortified with military men. And you see how the, the reaction of the IREC, the IREC man who is a professor, you see his reaction. You see his mechanism, his modus operandum is very suspicious. There's no high level of transparency. And that's what the country we are in. We are in a country where people have lost their salt. People that are supposed to be salt of the world have lost their salt. People that you will look onto and you say, oh, it's my learned person, learned brother like lawyers, that you will say, you will look at them with high esteem. Most of them have lost their salt. That's why the Bible says that ye are the salt of the world. How can the salt taste when he has lost his savour? Ye are the light of the world. How can you say you are light when you are in darkness? We see darkness having its upper hand. Darkness having its upper hand in a do state. Legalism and thuggery. This is uh, anomalies to what is expected. I prophesy it. I told you that I see crisis. I see thuggery. I see all those things. And I told you that I saw even blood spill, but I prayed against it. And I can't sue it in Jesus' name. But crisis is still coming. I pray that it will stop from this moment in Jesus' name. Because all that I prophesy, I see them manifesting. I see them manifesting. I gave uh, Asui Godalo three conditions. Number one conditions. I told him, if, if people have offended you, forgive them. How do you forgive? By making amend. By reconciling with the person. I told him number two conditions. Because for you to, uh, to attain that seat, that seat is top. There is Tozu, I've already said it, there is Tozu in the spirit realm between Asui Godalo and Monde Okwebolo. And I told him, I gave them, I gave him three conditions. Number two conditions is that he needs to uh, forgive those that have offended him. He needs to forgive them. He needs to settle those that he has offended. And he needs to remove the element of Obaseki is my godfather. Forget about Obaseki is your godfather. I said it that day. I said it that day. 
Forget about Obaseki is your godfather. That day I said it because godfather can fail you. Governor, governor can fail you. President can fail you. The only person that cannot fail us in this world is Jesus. Only Jesus can save. If you are watching me on this platform and you don't have Jesus, you are in crisis, you are living a life that does not have meaning. Your life can only have meaning when you come to Christ and you surrender to Jesus to give you peace. Only Jesus can give peace. Say the peace I will give you is not like the world. The world can promise you, don't worry, I will back you up. When the time comes, failure can come. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's why I wrote it. As I was writing, I was typing the topic. My, there was a move in me. And I said, Monday. I wanted to put Monday or Pueblo. I put Monday because there's no space. Overtake. That's why I told you that vision. That Aswe Godalo was giving, was uh, jubilating. And people were jubilating around him. And when Sunday, uh, Monday, Okpobelo came to that same position, everywhere was silence. In other words, there's an overtaking. Overtaking has taken place. And that thing will make the PDP people to keep quiet. That's why I'll tell you one thing you have to know about prophecy. Prophecy is to tell you what is coming so that you prepare and counter it. You will see some people, they tell them about prophecy. They will not make proactive measures. You have to make proactive measures to ensure there's no rigging. Whether we like it or not, if you don't make proactive measures, most times prophecy may not manifest the way you want it. Because I saw a tough contest between the two of them. And that's why I was giving it. And I was telling you, this, the choosing person, because the person that I received the message will do best out of the three, or better out of the two, is Aswe Godalo. Because you will see it. You will see it. Just watch and see. Just watch and see. Well, there's nothing God cannot change. Monday, Okobolo may decide to, to do to do and change mind and then forget about God fatherism and do what is needful. Well, let's watch and see. I swear Godalo was the one I got the message we do a do better. But you see, in a situation, we are sorry to use the word darkness, but our nation is not in the right frame of mind. There is a systemic failure. A real systemic failure. So you cannot be able to give something and say this thing should be like this. Because of the abnormalities in the system. There is a system failure. May God help us in Jesus' name. So I was saying it. I said there will be protests. Are you not seeing protests? After, I said after the person that is choosing has been announced by the INEC that there will be protests. Have you not started seeing protests? There will be protests and more protests are coming. Some of you are thinking it's something that is this thing you are looking. It's a very simple thing. It's not simple. More protests are coming. I'm telling you, more protests are coming. More protests are coming. And I told you that two persons, I initially mentioned one and I say all two. And I told you that two persons, but that two persons, what I mean by two persons, two group of persons, two group of uh, group, like one group, another group, they are going to take this uh, Monday Okwebolo to court. And even if they take Monday Okwebolo to court, it will be like the presidential election. I've said it already. I said this election that is coming will be like the presidential election. It will be like the presidential election. That's what I told you in September 15. And if you check my broadcast, September 15 and September 18, I told you. So you should see that we, we are in a nation where you will need prayer. Pray for everybody. This, uh, this platform, we are not specific to say it must be a Labour Party. No, I look at the person that is choosing out of the three. I pray. 
and I discern this one. I told you, I said, I said that Olumide Akpata will be disappointed. I am somebody who believe in P2B. I am somebody who believe in the new Nigeria. But I cannot prophesy what the Lord has not put in my mouth. I cannot prophesy the message I didn't receive. It is what I receive. I speak to you as a prophet. What I'm operating on is the prophetic gift. I'm operating on prophetic gift on this platform. And when you are operating on this prophetic gift, you must be truthful. You must be sincere. Even when you speak a word, and, you, and that's the message you get, stand by it. Don't begin to do like, no. I told you that Olumide Akpata will be disappointed. That I saw him in the vision, clearly. But I said he should not worry. He should not worry. And I thank God for his life. When I saw in the YouTube that he's giving, he's doing thanksgiving. Thank God. That's how life is. Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God. To them that are called by his name. Thank God for his life. He went, he, he went to thank God. Some people will do election, they will not leave the next day. Some will struggle, they will fail. And they will have sickness. But in his own case, it wasn't like that. I told you that it will not go far. But he should build up his political structure. He should build up his political capacity. If you remember on, the, on September 18, I gave it as a concept that Olumidia Pata should build up his political capacity. That is it. That is it. Should build up his political capacity. Look, let me tell you something about what I said about Labour Party. I told you that Labour Party will scatter. He has started scattering. And I told you that two groups of people will be formed in the Labour Party. I said it before this Abure issue happened. And it has scattered. Now, I told you that the scattering will be caused by the fully being exposed. The fully are the Akam in the party. The, the Judases in the party. The, the insincere people. They don't have sincerity. They will, be, they will be exposed. And then the wise will get wiser. So some people are getting wiser. In the process of getting wiser, they are becoming rational in their thinking. Emotion is going down. You are going to see emotion go down in Labour Party. Emotion is going to go down in this obedient movement that is in the future. The emotions will go down. Emotions are, is going to go down. You will see it. You will say, I said it. It will come to pass. The emotions that beef up before will go down. And then people become rational in their thinking. The intellect in, in, in the youth will come up. And then the wise will get wiser. Why the fully will be exposed? The wise will get wiser. You will see a new party being formed in the Labour Party. And that new party is like a giant party that will meet with other parties. But yet, yet, what I, what I have seen, oh, I pray, they pray very well. Yet, <laughs> the vampires are still at work. We need to pray for this nation. We need to pray for this nation. We need to pray for this nation. When I saw what was happening, I see a situation where uh, it appears as if there's an attack on the PDP in, uh, in Edo State. It was shocking. It was shocking. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So I've said it. The confirmation, you have seen it. You have seen it. You have seen the rigging, the tussle for power. You have seen the battle. You have seen the fierceness that I mentioned. You have seen the protest that I mentioned. And then I've talked about the protest. You are going to see court action. It's going to start very soon. You will see the court action. It's going to start very soon. It's going to start very soon. I've told you the vision. 
I told you the vision that I saw on September 18 that as well Godalo, they were jubilating. People were hailing him. People were hailing him. There was jubilation and celebration. Suddenly, Monday, Okobelu came into the scene and then there was an overtaking. That's why I put there overtake. That's why you see there Monday overtake. Check the 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 broadcast of September 18. Monday overtake. What we saw was overtaking. By now, people feel that we supposed they supposed to be jubilating for Aswe Godalo, but there was an overtaking. And I've given I've given you some things about the overtaking, so I don't need to be repeating and repeating myself. Thank you for watching. Please, always watch and pray. Pray for Edo State because I told you I see protests. More protests are coming. I'm having this feeling in my spirit, and court proceedings will take place. But pray for Edo State. Pray for. Uh, Aswe Egodalo, pray for Monday Okobolo, pray for Lumidia Pata, pray for Edo State, pray for Baseki, pray for Shomole, pray that there should be peace. May God help us in Jesus' name. God bless you.